It's called Only a Mortal. Also today, I was not where I was supposed to be at work. Oh, it is too terrible to detail in detail. In detail. And then I couldn't keep my appointment at the clinic for to check my papers because I was at the wrong location. So twice in one day, not at the right place time, not where I was supposed to be at the usual time at the right time. So I went to the jack in the box to kill time, as the old folks say, for who better to know about the killing of time in these times. Kill time while waiting for a bus home. After ordering on my way to the table, a slightly manic maniac approached me for money, but he did it in such an entertaining way that I was compelled to empty all of my spare change into his hands. He said, can you please, old lady with the pretty blue scarf and the nice warm coat, can you please help me out? I have to get to the halfway house. Can you please help me out in these demonic times? I am only a mortal, not like these other people. When he said that, I said, yeah, just let me sit down and I'll see what I can give you. I asked if he was hungry. I just wanted the fries after all. I am only a mortal too. This next one is um, another encounter with strangers and it's part of um, my series of poems called Another St. Louis Bus Ride. Um, this is laugh so hard you cry cry so hard you laugh. Number eight, Shaw Bates, 7.13, 7.30 to 7.50 p.m. The laughter is piercing coming from the back of the bus. A group of girls, young women. I don't turn around to look, but hear one of them say, he must have done something. Maybe he was trying to get his cell phone out. I don't know, I don't know. Keening laughter like a whale or a wall that no one can see over the edge. Keening laughter like a whale or a wall that no one can see over the edges ragged and stony. We're sorry, we're so loud. We're on our way to a friend's visitation and we've been drinking a lot and we're going to keep drinking. In a low voice, an old woman tells them, don't get yourself in trouble. She's worried about these girls, about their situation, about their reckless grief. When I get off the bus, I see from the corner of my eye, one of them in a brightly flowered dress, starting to stand up, starting to sway, starting to dance, swaying with her eyes closed in the small space in front of her.